What's going on, people? I'm back again talking about the Passover. The Passover, which is actually this week. I'm going to tell you something. God, God don't make no mistakes. He don't. When you start lining up with the work, with the with God, things are gonna start lining up for your life. He don't make mistakes, people. He know majority of us don't know when the Passover is. He know majority of us don't know our left hand from our right hand. But he got people out there to train you up. Or we gonna live it to the teeth. Man, a lot of these things have been lost to us for years. You know. But if you don't read the word, you'll beat yourself up about everything. I just told you about the unclean meats once you enter into the promised land. Once you enter into the promised land, what's the promised land now? Basically, when you get understanding. <laughs> Do you understand? When you get understanding, he said, you have not because you asked now. A lot of y'all don't understand. A lot of y'all Christians out here miserable right now. Scared to drink a glass of wine because your preacher says it's a spirit. Spread to, scared to drink a shot of liquor because the, the preacher says it's a spirit. A spirit in a glass? Since when, son? Since when the spirits come in Coca-Cola? In a pill. Spirits, souls, or human beings are spiritual energy that flows around. A hallucinogen is a whole different story. That's not a spirit, son. I'm trying to tell y'all some things these days. You know, the Lord said, come to me so your joy to be full. Now, think just about something he said in the New Testament. He said, I have given you all things to enjoy. Sex with a wife. Alcohol with moderation. Food. Whatever you please to eat. Check. Eat, drink, me, be merry, and have sex. Mm. I added the sex part. But he said he wants it too. <laughs> he said it's not good that a man should be alone. To make him a helpmate. A wife. Mm. The first wife. So he, he made you a wife so you can have as much sex as you can with one person. Sex ain't wrong. Fornication is. Adultery is. That's why we have so many problems today. People can't just dick, stick with one person. Uh, I need multiple sex partners. All right. Get multiple killings too. Get multiple hell sentences. That's exactly what you're going to get. You see people, I don't, I'm not your everyday teacher. The Lord put it on my mind to study the word for 13 years straight. Constantly. Keep reading. You finish? Read again. Go back here. Look, you missed that. You missed that too. Oh, you think you know everything? Hi. No, you don't. Look at that. Check that out. Hi. Every day I give you something new. You see what's wrong with a lot of these preachers, especially Hebrew Israelites, I stay attacking y'all. Y'all don't know nothing. Y'all are lost, son. Research when the Hebrew Israelites started who they really worship anyway that's all I'm going to say to you research it you're in a group you don't even know what it's really about racism God is not a God of racism God is a God of racists he made us all why you think the Bible focuses on the heart so much you should say got nothing to do with the Passover what he said the strangers and the Israelites, whoever don't observe it. You see, in the Old Testament, they say strangers. In the New Testament, they say Gentiles. And they say how strangers, help them. If they choose to dwell with you, they got to dwell with your ways. You see, America is the land of the free. It is. Freedom, do as you please. But let me tell you something, people. This is how it's supposed to operate. Let me, let me tell you something. All these people running from their country because they're so great. Their country is so great. They want to come to America. Because America is so horrible. So we're going to leave this great country and come to America. But America has lost its way. We're supposed to be converting people. 
showing them, teaching them our ways, not embracing, not embracing their ways. Buddhists, now we got people want to be Buddhists. We got the Muslims come over here. Now people want to be Muslim. I could have sworn we were one nation under God. We are one nation under God's now. Do as you please for whatever God you choose. The first time I figured this out is when I went to Washington, D.C. And I saw so many pagan deities on, on walls and statues of idols. I was like, good Lord, have mercy. America is, forget it, fucked up. Fucked up. We got leaders that are doing fucked up shit. I ain't finna say it in a nice way. I'm not your preacher. I'm talking to you. That's how most people gonna talk to you on the street. You might well get ready. When the spirit hits, it hits, son. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Mobile and say son on tackle. I'm trying to say nigga. Just being real with you. <laughs> Shoot, it don't hurt me. You say it all you want. You understand? I know what you mean. I know your tone. You understand? That's how I know. I talk to white people to say the word nigga all the time. I don't want to get mad. For real, we say, say to each other all the time. Get on somewhere with that foolishness. People. Anyway, back to the Passover. When you start doing something on a daily basis, it becomes natural to you. You start seeking God on a daily basis, it becomes natural. He's going to line your body up, your temple, with his will and his ways. I know what Paul said. A pastor shouldn't drink. What was Jesus Christ? I don't listen to Paul. I listen to Jesus. <laughs> but I understand about a pastor also supposed to be the husband of one wife. Jesus was never married. He was a pastor. I listen to Jesus. But the thing is, I understand where Paul coming from. If you're going to be over, he said a man got to rule his household well. One thing about it, Jesus know how to run his house. Single. <laughs> But to set the example for the world, a preacher needs to be up there with a wife and show faithfulness and show how a house is supposed to be run. All you single preachers out there, whatever. Let me pause and I will continue.